And welcome, awesome students. Wow, we have been learning so much about energy. Remember to check out our other videos on energy if you haven't already. Before we learn about energy transfer, let's do a little review. Energy is the ability to do work. There are two types of energy, potential energy and kinetic energy. Potential energy is energy that is stored. The forms of potential energy are mechanical, gravitational, chemical, and nuclear. Kinetic energy is energy that is in motion. The forms of kinetic energy are mechanical, electrical, light, thermal, and sound. Remember, we can use the word melt. Mechanical, electrical, light, thermal, sound. Melt. Now let's learn about the transfer of energy. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be transferred or changed from one form to another. This is called the law of conservation of energy. Now let's look at an example. The sun gives light or radiant energy to the tree. The tree stores that energy as chemical energy for photosynthesis and producing fruit. A person eats the fruit from the tree, storing the chemical energy within the cells of the body. The chemical energy is then transferred to kinetic mechanical energy for running and thermal energy as the body is heating up as a result of the run. Now let's talk about how you get energy to your house. A wind turbine uses mechanical wind energy to turn the blades. That is kinetic energy. The rotating blades turn a generator and create electrical energy at a power plant. The power plant sends the electrical energy to your house through wires. Then you plug your cell phone into the outlet, transferring the electrical energy to chemical energy to store in the phone's battery. When you turn on your phone, the chemical energy is transferred to light and electrical energy. Last example, I really love this one. The sun sends radiant or light energy to the solar panel. The light energy is converted to chemical energy and stored in the power box in the house. Then, you plug your cell phone into the outlet, transferring the electrical energy to chemical energy to store in the phone's battery. When you turn on your phone, the chemical energy is transferred to light and electrical energy. <laughs> okay, okay. You talked me into a bonus example. The hammer uses mechanical energy to hit the bell. The bell sends sound energy out to the ear. The sound waves enter the ear canal and vibrate against the eardrum. The sound energy is then transferred to mechanical energy and sent to the brain. Now it's your turn. What ways to transfer energy can you think of? <laughs>